Yo, Halito, everybody, man. Grand rising, grand elevations. How you doing, Sister Red Sun? Malcolm L. Jeffy, what's going on, brother? Man, listen, man. It's just too much going on right now, y'all. I've been having, I've been hearing a whole lot <laughs> that's been going on. So I'm just like, I'm just pretty much sitting back, spectating and listening. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm not really trying to come in and join no conversations and and all of that because people got their own beliefs and, and what they believe. And and, and, and I'm, I'm not trying to sw- uh, convert nobody over. I'm not trying to make nobody switch to, to anything. You know what I'm saying? But what I do got for y'all today, I got a, I got some videos I want y'all to watch. But before that, I got about three or four videos. Let me see. Hold on. I got about five videos. I want, well, let me see. One, two, three, four, five. I got about six videos I want y'all to watch. But before that, I just want to talk to y'all, man, and let y'all know, like, listen, man. The confusion is crazy in the community as far as who we are. And, and, and my thing is this, man. I don't have nothing against no moors. I don't have nothing against those people, man. I already told y'all what it is. But at the end of the day, man, we can't we can't keep on allowing people to come in and cause this type of confusion, bro. We already cleared that up. The Moors are not indigenous to America, bro. They not. They not. And I don't have nothing against them people, you know what I'm saying? But when you keep when y'all keep saying y'all indigenous to America and then y'all bringing all of these other people into the mix and you saying this and saying it's confusing the people, bro, because people uh, calling me and contacting me and asking me about this and asking me about. I'm just like, listen, man, let me just go inside because I wasn't even going to go live. I wasn't even thinking about going live. I'm like, man, let me just put this together real quick, man, bro, just to clear some stuff up, man, because the Moors are not indigenous to America. All right. That's just plain and simple. We are copper color aborigines. We was here before the term more before that even existed, before those people even existed we was on this land that that term more came into existence in the 13th century okay and before that they just call indians moors i mean i'm sorry after that when they started calling indians moors they was doing that based on a skin color that's it i brought that out already and many other people have brought it out already but somehow it has to keep being reiterated because people just don't get it more just meant you were a dark skinned person. That's it. So when they called Montezuma a Moorish king, they were saying a dark skinned king. When they was talking about the Moorish hat, they were saying a dark hat, a dark colored hat. When they called Indians Moors, they were saying a dark skinned people. That's all they were saying. That's all they were saying. It's that simple. It's very simple. It's nothing that more is a religion. And you can look that up. I can pull that up and show it to you. When all of it, when 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 Noble Drew Ali was going through his legal his legal stuff, the Moors Science Temple was documented as a religion. They was documented as a religion. That's just facts. You can you can be mad and whatever you want. They were a religion. Okay, we not Moors. And when and my thing is this. I love my brothers to death, man, but y'all be y'all be a little too aggressive, bro. If a person say they not a more, don't try to force that up on people. People know who their grandparents are. If their grandparents never said nothing about being no more, why y'all trying to force this up on people? They said they not a more. They said they indigenous. So if they say they indigenous and they not a more, just let it go. Don't keep trying to force stuff up on people and trying to force this more stuff on. Don't do that, bro, because you because what's happening is you disrespect people ancestors. That's what happened. It's got to be a level of respect, bro, because we all heard. You know, what I'm saying we all trying to work towards the same goal. We trying to help our people find their ancestors so they can reconnect back with their tribe. And when you have people that steady coming out, we more we didn't like, bro, you got to stop doing that. Like you can't force that up on people. All right. Now watch this. I don't want to hold y'all too long and I don't want to drag this stuff out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show y'all this real quick. Um, Let me pull this up real quick. Let me make sure it's up. I'm going to go here first. First thing I want to touch on is about the the, the slavery, because this is a thing that that um a question I got and I'm going to answer it. Now, this is on the National 
Watch this. National Library of Medicine. Y'all see that at the top? This is nationallibraryofmedicine.gov. You can see it in the top. I'll post this link so y'all can see it. Just so you know, just so y'all know I ain't making nothing up. Because y'all know I like to prove whatever I say. Let me post that in there. That's on a government website. Just so y'all know. Okay? Now watch this. As we scroll down, what does it say right here? The highlighted part said, I want y'all to focus on this. And the reason why I want y'all to focus on this, because this is a clear cut indication that these people in this country don't have any records to these so-called uh, 20 and odd Africans, which it wasn't even called 20 and odd Africans at first. They changed the name from 20 and odd Negress. Then it went from Negroes. Then it went to Africans. All right. And I could have pulled that up, too. But just to take y'all through the shortcut way, I'm just showing y'all this right now. It says most likely the Africans were indentured servants rather than slaves. You see that? It says most likely. And that's what I want y'all to hone in on. I want to want y'all to hone in on most likely and indentured servants. Those two uh, compounds right there. The reason why I want y'all to, to, to hone in on that is because they saying most likely, which lets you know they don't have. They're not even sure. They're not even sure who these people were because they wouldn't be saying most likely. This is on a government website. They would have the facts. They would have the data right there to say, okay, these people was so-and-so, so-and-so. No, they saying most likely. So that means they don't know. Then they said indentured servants rather than slaves. So y'all took some people and y'all made them become slaves. They was never slaves at the beginning. Which lets me know and makes me believe that these people were never Africans. They were indigenous people that y'all fought. That's my belief. That's my belief. I believe these were indigenous people who y'all forced into slavery because y'all don't have no type of record to that. Y'all saying most likely they were Africans rather than indentured servants. I'm sorry. They were they were Africans. The Africans were indentured servants. Sorry. Rather than slaves, meaning that they would work the tobacco fields for a specific period of time. Now, that's the another. That's the third key point. It says tobacco fields. How are you going to work a field? All right. How you going to work a field and 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 uh, you dealing with this tobacco. OK. And you harvesting tobacco, a crop you would have known nothing about because you from Africa. Right. You from Africa. So how you harvesting this tobacco in this land where it came from? You would not know how to do that. You wouldn't you would not know how to till that dirt in order to grow that tobacco. You see what I'm saying? You got to pay attention to what these people say because they're going to tell on themselves in every single way. All you got to do is look at the wording. You got most likely, you got indentured servants, you got tobacco field. Those are the three key things in this in this writing right here to let you know it's bogus. It's bogus. And we already know they don't have on they don't have no no slave ships. Even though they got ships from the Boston Tea Party, they don't have no slave ships. All right. They can't show you one slave ship at all. But they got the boats from the Boston Tea Party. All of this lets you know this is why you got to pay attention. All you got to do is pay attention and read and you're going to see. They're going to tell on themselves every single time. And this is how it works. And I just want to, I, the link is in the chat. So if y'all think I'm making this up or y'all think I'm, you know, I typed some stuff up and made my own website. Okay, there you go right there. The link is there. You're going to see it ends with G-O-V. This is on the government's website. The government is saying this. So they don't know. The people who type this up, they don't know. They don't have a clue who these people are. You understand what I'm saying? So don't make it seem like I'm making history up. I'm reading from your websites. This is what your website is saying. Okay. Now watch this. The more thing. This is from the Blacks Law Dictionary. All right. They were classifying Moors as free white people. All right. Watch this. It says free white persons. Free white persons referred to in Naturalization Act as amended by the Act of July 14, 1870. 
You see that? Now, what was the Naturalization Act? It was allowing immigrants who were coming into the country to be naturalized. And if you have to be naturalized to a land, that means you're not organic to it. You ain't if you was if you have to be naturalized, you are not organic to the land. And let me ask y'all a question. When was the so-called so-called African Americans ever naturalized? Never. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The so-called black Americans was never naturalized to this country, which lets you know what? We are the aboriginals. <laughs> they never came up and said, we got to naturalize y'all. Y'all need to be naturalized. They never did that. These people had to be naturalized through the Naturalization Act. It says, as amended by the Act of July 4th, 1870, it says, has meaning naturally given and when it first used in a statute 103, meaning all persons belonging to the European races, then commonly counted as white and their descendants, including such descendants in other countries to which they immigrated. So not just the person that they were categorizing as free white, their descendants that move all around the people that were coming to the Americas that they was kicking out of Europe and London and all these different places and sending them to the Americas. Their descendants also was counted as free white person. But as we continue reading down, you're going to find out who this is talking about. As we continue reading down, watch, watch this. Here we go. It says, it includes all European Jews, more or less intermixed with peoples of Celtic, Scandinavian, Teutonic, Iberian, Latin, Greek, and Slavic descent. It includes Magyars, Laps, and Finns, and the Basque and Albanians. It includes the mixed Latin, Celtic, Iberian, and Moorish inhabitants of Spain and Portugal. The Moorish inhabitants of Spain and Portugal. And I brought this out in the book called um, The Accurate Description of the New World and uh, Nature Knows No Color Line by J.A. Rogers. They said those Moors in Spain and Portugal were supposed to be Jews. And even if they wasn't, it didn't matter. These are people of color that are being classified as free white people. It's going to tell you as we read down, watch. It says the mixed Greek, Latin, Phoenician, and North African inhabitants of Sicily and the mixed Slav and Tartar inhabitants of South Russia. Watch this. It does not include or it does not mean Caucasian race. Do you see that? Right here. It does not mean Caucasian race. You see that? It does not mean Caucasian race. So they were classifying dark skinned people as free white person, naturalizing them. And if the Moors, again, if y'all indigenous to America, why you got to be naturalized? Because you're not indigenous. If you was aboriginals to this land, you would need you would need to be naturalized. The so-called African-American was never naturalized. That's why you would never get reparations, bro. I'm not. Let me take that back. I ain't going to say you would never get it because I'm for reparations. I'm for reparations. Let me make that clear. I'm not saying you're going to never get it. I'm saying that's why it's, it's a hard time for them to give it to you. These people know who you are. These people know who you are, man. They know you didn't come from Africa. If they, if they, Listen, if you came from Africa, you would have been had reparations. They would have been gave it to you. How come it's always a study? The reason why it's a study, because they trying to figure out who indigenous and who came on the boat. That's what they're trying to figure out. That's what they're going to have to figure out. You understand what I'm saying? Keep this stuff in mind, man. Don't always think three, four, five moves ahead. Always, because that's how they think. That's why I brought that out about that naturalization stuff. Because, see, nobody ever brought that up. We ain't never had to be naturalized to this land, ever. We naturally knew how to till the land. We naturally knew 
if when our people did, if our people did go into slavery, that's why you think our people was running. Why you think all of our people was running over here, running over there? How would they even know where to go if they was from another land? Why would they try to escape? We knew the land. That's why it's come on, man. It's common sense. It's common sense. And it's all a play on our intelligence because they think we don't read. This is the new age, bro. Y'all, I'm telling you, listen, listen, let me tell y'all something. I was raised by old school people from the 50s and 60s. You understand what I'm saying? And these people had knowledge. But one thing I learned is as time went on and as time evolved and it got more uh, uh, modern, we read. We read, we research, we dig. You can't just tell us no anything no more, bro. We're gonna find a we're gonna find the truth and show it to you. So understand, like listen, listen, listen. They know, they know, they know, they know we indigenous to this land, bro. They know that. Come on, man. Like you listen, man. Y'all gotta I'm telling you, these people are gonna keep on putting it in your face, but you just gotta dig it out and you gotta start thinking. Oh, wait a minute. Every person that was an immigrant. That came to this land. You can matter of fact, these records, these naturalization records, you can look these records up on ancestry. These these records exist. See, you would have the records if of those people. Because if they were slaves, they had to be traded in through commerce. Some type of commerce would have had to been done. So y'all would have had records of that. Y'all don't have it. Y'all do not have it. Y'all don't have it. It's the bottom line. Y'all don't have it because those people was never from Africa. Y'all said they was Africans because of their skin color. Everybody with dark skin during that time was African. They didn't care where you came from. You could have been East Indian. You could have been Hindu. You could have been whatever. If you had dark skin, you African. I know indigenous people who I know 100% fact they, they indigenous classified as African in the military. And I brought this up to y'all several times where they took indigenous people in the military and forced them to fight under African. That's the only way them people could get a pension. They had to go under African. And once they was under African, they stayed under African. They never went back to being indigenous. They just stayed under African. And then after they came out, they was classed with whatever was the popular term at that time, whether it was colored, whether it was Negro, whether it was black, whether it was African-American, whatever was popular, that's what they went under after they got out the military. I told y'all, Turner Burris of Full Blood Chickasaw had to sue these people for his race. This man was a full blood chicken, so they had put him down as a freedman because he fought in the military. When he got out, they made him classify as a freedman, even though he had his lineage mapped out and said, look, man, I'm not I'm not a, a freedman. I'm a full blood chicken. Saw. This is my mother. This is my grandfather. This is my father. My parents is all full blood chicken. Saws. But because of the way he looked, he had that type of that type of physiognomy. Of the so-called African American, they said, "No, nah, you black. You African American. You black." He had to sue these people. This is what happens. So understand that, y'all. And like I said, I ain't this ain't to dump on nobody. Like I said, man, I love my brothers. That's Moors. You know what I'm saying? I love my brothers to death, bro. And I ain't got nothing against them. Do y'all thing, but but when y'all constantly keep on saying y'all indigenous to America, it's confusing the people, bro. People confuse, and we can't have that. You know what I'm saying? If I got to be the bad guy, I'm going to do it. I don't care how y'all like it. You could call me. We could talk, and I'm going to say the same thing. I'm going to stand on what I say, bro. I'm not changing nothing. You know what I'm saying? I don't care if we in front of each other's face. I'm going to stand on it because I'm willing to die, uh, live and die with what I say. For real, that's just how it, that's how it work, bro. We indigenous. We aboriginals, bro. We not no moors. And you can't get mad if nobody now. If you are more, if you are indigenous and you are Aboriginal and you want to um, identify as a more, cool. I respect that, but don't put that title up on everybody because it's disrespectful and people take offense to it. And, and, and we don't need to be at each other's throat about nothing like that, bro. That's that's you know what I'm saying. We brothers, bro. We can talk this stuff out and just you know have a decent conversation. We don't got to be going back and sneak this and arguing and fight. We don't have to do that, bro. Just call me and we can talk about it. And maybe you can educate me and I can educate you and we can move forward, man. We don't have to always be at each other's throat about our beliefs. 
Because you can never argue a person's belief system. A person going to believe whatever they want. You cannot argue that. You understand what I'm saying? But watch this. I'm, I'm going to get into this video, man. Watch this. Bern, now watch what Bernie Sanders going to say about reparations. Uh, this is another. <laughs> watch this. Watch this. Is pay attention to distressed communities, black communities, Latino communities, and white communities all over this country. And as president, I pledge to do that. Why not, why not support reparations? Well, what do you mean by reparations? By reparations for slave defense. I know, but what does that mean exactly? See? See how you playing games? Tell me, what does that mean exactly? Man, you know what it mean, man. Listen, y'all. Reparations. By reparations for slave defense. I know, but what does that mean exactly? Money. Well, I think that right now uh, our job is to address the crises facing uh, the American people and our communities. And I think there are better ways to do that uh, than just writing out a check. You see that? It's better ways to do that than just writing out a check. You see what I'm saying? They don't. They avoid the question every single time when it comes to our people getting reparations. I'm telling you. You know why they doing that? Because they already know. They already know you from this land. They know this already. This is this is factual to him. He knows that already. That's why they not. That's why they not. That's why they keep on shifting. Cause see, look, they can't come out and say they can't come out and say we're not giving them a check because they wasn't brought her as slaves. They can't come out and say that. You got to read between the line. You got to look between what he's saying. They, or not all of them. I'm not going to say some some people wasn't. I'm saying all everybody that you call so-called African-American wasn't brought her as a chick. I mean, brought her as a slave. So they can't give everybody a chick because everybody wasn't a slave. They can't give, they can't do it because if they just hand out a chick to everybody, then they're going to look at it as well. If they get, if they deserve a chick, then we need to give these white people a chick. We need to give these people a chick because there were people you call African-Americans who had white people as indentured servants. You can look that up and Google that. There were white people who worked for so-called African-Americans in this country as indentured servants. You can look it up. So they can't, they not finna just hand out, I'm, listen man, that's why they keep on avoiding this. Because then if they start addressing it for real, then they gonna have to tell the real truth. They not doing that. <laughs> they not finna do that. They're going to leave that up to you. They're going to leave. That's why we constantly push doing your genealogy. Do your genealogy. I don't care how long it take. I don't care. Some, some of this genealogy take, man, listen, man. I personally been doing genealogy since 2014. And it's stuff that's on my genealogy, on my tree. Well, that's when I first started it. Okay. Well, matter of fact, let me let me be let me correct myself. That's not where I started it. That's where my mother started it. My mom started it and she stopped. And I picked up where she left off at. Let me be fair. All right. I didn't start nothing. My mama started it in 2014 and I picked it up. But what I'm saying is some of this this genealogy take years. It's still things I'm looking for. Ten years later. It takes a while. Is and, and I heard somebody talking about um genealogy and they asked about why I took the video down. I'm gonna do it again and it's gonna be the last time I do it. And I'm gonna cover every single thing that I know. It might be a four hour video, y'all. I'm just I'm gonna warn you. I'm gonna just let you know. That's step. Now, what I want y'all to understand is, and this is another thing that I had to figure out too, because I, I spoke to Ancestry about a month ago and I asked him about this because I was I was still a little curious about it. Um it's going to be a lot of incorrect information on your genealogy, okay? And I'm, I'm, I'm not saying when you get to the earlier parts like the 1900s, 1940s. I'm not talking about during that time. I'm saying when you get to like your second and third great grandparents and fourth, fifth great grandparents, you might have a lot of stuff that's going to be inaccurate. And I'm going to tell you why. Because you got so many cousins that you related to that's doing genealogy. I just had to tell some other dude that... His ans it says on his tree that his grandfather was born in Africa. That's what it says. Now he told me he was indigenous, but on his on the tree it says, now this is what somebody wrote in now. Somebody wrote this in. It says his grandfather was born in Africa. There's no record for it. It doesn't say where he was born or where he died, but it just says that. 
And that's what I mean when I say it's in, when I say information is going to be inaccurate because when you go on there, you gonna have it's you got cousins that's doing genealogy just like you. You got other family members. You know how many people you think your great grandfather or your second great grandfather you his only. You know how many people that's related to that man. If you took a DNA test, you're going to have 900 cousins. Y'all all related somehow. You know what I'm saying? So y'all, you got you got, you got, got 50 and 60 of cousins. All is going down the line and everybody doing genealogy. And they may have different stories. You may have a story that he indigenous, but somebody else might have a story that he African. Somebody else might have a story. So when this one ancestor pop up, you're going to see three, four, five different things for that one ancestor. And me... Knowing that I knowing how to help do family research, you're not supposed to change that information. You're supposed to keep that information on a tree until you prove it or disprove it. That's how you do it. You don't change anything. I don't care what it say. If you can't prove it or disprove it, you keep it the same way it is until you can get the, the, the answer. So I'm going to do that and I'm going gonna, gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to do it. I'm going I'm to go through everything. So y'all ain't going to have no questions at the end. Y'all should know exactly how to do this. All right. Now watch this. This is what I want to show y'all too. This was a this was going on during the time. This next video I'm about to show y'all. This was going on during the time of the um the 20 the 2020 election. All right. Now watch this. Watch this, y'all. Um I, I don't know if previous generations got a little more of this stuff when they were in, you know, getting their education, but I didn't receive now this dude that y'all listen to, this this brother at the bottom, he a, uh, he a Trump supporter. All these people Trump supporters. Any, anything of this sort. Where our parents didn't get it because they would have told us. Right. How many how many of our parents and grandparents? <clears throat> Martin Luther King said something people didn't understand and still don't know what he's saying. Usually, right now today, Martin Luther King said, "I am fighting for rights that are already mine." Yeah. Now. How in the world is he saying that rights are already his before the 1964 Civil Rights Act? Because the, the Constitution was quite clear in that all men are created equal. So the Constitution said that all men are created equally, right? Yep. So if the Constitution said that and the Constitution declares that, then that means that all men are free. And when we see slavery happen... Slavery didn't just happen. Legislative body members had to write codes against person called the Christian black codes and other types of codes to make persons slaves. And I'm going to do a video on those Christian black codes. I'm going to show you. I'm going to. I'm going I'm I'm to. Well, OK, watch this. I'm, I'm going to show you. Watch. I'm going to expose that. Watch. So if persons weren't slaves at first, that means that they used to have the right to function together. And if they used to have the right to function together, that means the story they told us about slavery and all the people brought together on ships isn't true. <laughs> so they vilify people who are lighter skinned people. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My brother. Hey, bro, old point. Bro is on point, bro thinking, man. You like, uh, uh hello. <laughs> These goals, when you go back and read those, I'm, 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 I'm not, all right, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna let it play, y'all. I'm sorry. <laughs> people, and they make angry people who are darker skinned people because they say they were these ships that brought millions of people from Africa. But they've never showed us one ship that was big enough to bring a ton of people from Africa. They get mad at Christians and say, well, you can't show us the ark therefore it must not exist but you've never showed us any ship bringing tons of slaves over here that's a valid point it's true i don't know that i've ever seen i mean i i saw the uss constitution in the in port in massachusetts but i've never seen uh but but, but by the same standard i'm sure that those ships i mean they probably have not withstood time uh, well, you know they're probably well, sunk somewhere is is See, see, and 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 I and I ain't got no problem with my white brother. I actually spoke to do uh, Nick Mo Cedar. I actually spoke to him. I ain't got no problem with that white brother. But at the end of the day, that's what they always say. Well, the ships didn't stand the test of time. Well, how come the ships from the Boston Tea Party did? Those ships stood the test of time.
They was being used just like those colonial boats was being used just like the so-called uh, slave boats. They was being used too. So, but watch this. Watch this, y'all. Watch what he says. It's not literally been a crazy, crazy, crazy long amount of time that you can't show any historical record of the ships. Where are, all the, where are all the records of the people who you signed in in commerce as your slaves? And why is it that in the documentation for slavery and for treaties, it talks about the group of people <coughs> who were friendly Native Americans that sold their own people into slavery I'm going to expose that too. The friendlies, I'm going to expose that too. <laughs> Hold on. And those friendlies uh, they were doing commerce with, it sounds exactly like the story of what they say in Africa just here. And the people in Africa, when you go ask them, did a whole bunch of slaves get taken from your area or sold? You got any history of that and dropped off here? No, I don't exist. And I exposed that in my own uh, uh, videos. Remember, I, I got videos of myself. People took my video and they posted it all around the Internet. And that's cool. I appreciate y'all for doing that. But I was in the Uber talking to the African and I asked them. They, I said, you from West Africa? I said, have you ever heard of the transatlantic slave trade when you was in Africa? He said, no. I said, well, when did you hear about it? He said, here in America. I said, so before you got to America, you never heard about the slave trade, only just when you got here. He said, yes. I was like, wow. So he'd been indoctrinated. You see what I'm saying? None of these Africans have ever heard of the slave trade. They have not heard about it until they came to this country. That's when they heard about it. It's an American story, man. Uh, Henry Louis Gates said from his own mouth that they were transporting. They had ships going from one part of the Americas to another part of, of the Americas. Over 11,000 voyages. Come on, man. They tell on they All you got to do is listen. Watch this. But the Native Americans who figured out what really happened, they get to get a little bit of land and they get to have a reservation on there. But many of the people who they call slaves um, were actually Native Americans. You, you can go to people who say they had slaves in their family right now. Ask them what tribes their grandmother said they had in them. They're going to say Blackfoot, Blackhawk, and Cherokee. Hmm. My grandmother even told me. So all of this is a his, his story. They create up a story to make us fight each other and not get close and talk like we're doing now. Because if we really talk like we're doing now, we'll realize all the law and everything that's important to us, they hit. And then and man, bro, hit it on the head. And that's why I keep telling y'all, man, listen, it's people that don't look like us that support me. Bro, they all on Facebook, bro. They support me, bro. They be inboxing me like, bro, I love what you're doing. White people. Native American people. Mexican people that support what I do. Now, that's a lot of them that talk, but it's a lot of them that support me, too. They be like, bro, I love what you're doing. I just, I just, listen, I would listen. I was working, bro, today. And I just ran into it. I promise y'all, uh, listen, if I'm lying, bro, on my kid's life, I was working today. And bruh said, the research guy, I look. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, why this dude saying <laughs> I hope he pop up on my live too. He said, the research guy, I'm like, this dude know me? I told him, I said, I was playing and I was just messing with him. I said, that ain't me, man. That ain't me. <laughs> I was like, no, nah, it's me, bro. It's me. I said, man, you be you be watching me? He said, yeah, man, I seen you before. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> he like, yeah, man. And we was talking. And this was today. This was just today. And I'm just like, yo, it's crazy because people start, everybody, it's, it's people that I don't even pay attention to that's tapping in into everything and on top of that you got all these people in the background right now right now that know all this information that we just said that we just brought out i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna show y'all listen all right i'm gonna I'm show y'all everything he just what he's talking i read it already so i know what he's talking about is true i read it already and then as soon as you start telling these people where you from and you start people want to scrunch their nose up and it's all the people that that um ain't doing no research, all the people that's been indoctrinated, all the people that's been all they doing is going off a of, uh, history that they heard in school. And then as soon as you start bringing the books out and say, well, uh, hold on, they 
they said, you know, there was indigenous people that, you know, they um they um they looked like Negroes, or there was indigenous people that had kinky hair, or there was indigenous people that was dark skinned. Oh, well, they they was dark skinned, but genetically they was African. No. Prove that. Show us that. Don't just make no statement like that. Show it to us. Prove it. Prove it. Don't don't just tell me no. Don't tell me nothing like that. You're gonna have to prove what you say. There was not that many. Listen, it was a small amount. I, I'm not, because I'm the, I'm not, I do have some records, okay? Very few. I'm gonna be honest with you. Maybe like three. So there were some Africans that did come to the America. Very small amount. It's already, watch this. Oh, let me show you how this video. It was a very small amount. It wasn't the amount of Africans that they told us in history. And that's how they were even able to get that story off because they brought a couple so they can say, oh, this is what we're going to say. This is the story we're going we gonna, to we gonna conjure up. We're going to say, come on, man, let's, let's, let's be real. And whoever started that story about these millions of Africans ought to be ashamed of themselves. Stop it. Stop it, man. We're not even finna play with y'all. Y'all know y'all didn't bring no millions of Africans here. Stop playing. Because you gonna, first of all, if y'all brought the, the people that y'all say y'all brought, the, the, the amount of people y'all say y'all brought, y'all will still be bringing them here. Y'all ain't, you ain't, come on, man. You talking about on a boat? A wooden sailboat? You brought all these people here? Millions, bro? You know how long that's going to take? Because you can only fit 30 to 40 people on a boat. On a sailboat. Whatever you want to call it. Skiff, rowboat, whatever you want to call them. Whatever type of boats you want to call You can only fit a certain amount of people on them boats. You ain't finna be fitting no hundreds of people. Bro, you got to bring 30, 40 people at a time. Do you know how much that, bro, you risking your life, bro? To go bring some slaves all the way to another country when you already got people here? Tell me where that makes sense at. Come on, man. Like, listen. Okay, watch this. Now, watch. I'm, I'm, I'm going to show you. Okay, watch this. Watch this. Now, I just seen this video. And this white dude for to tell you. Watch this. This was on. Um, watch this. Hold on. A, a small number of Africans be, uh, were subsequently. This is on Frontline Club, okay? Now, this dude was investigating white slavery, okay? And I watched the whole video. I watched the whole video. I actually had, I want to play the whole video, but I didn't want to be sitting here for no hour with this video. But I may play some other parts of it, but listen to what he said right here about the Africans that were brought here and the white slaves that were brought here. Watch this. A small number of Africans be, uh, were subsequently brought to Virginia and sold over the next decades. You see that? He said a small number of Africans. A small number. Watch. A small number of Africans be, uh, were subsequently brought to Virginia and sold over the next decades. Only very few. Only 300, 50 years later. Oh, sorry, 20 years later. But meantime... Hundreds, thousands of uh, poor whites were being brought in and on various convicts and children, etc. And, and they were being enslaved. Do you see that? He said thousands of whites were being brought in. Thousands of whites were being brought in and sold as slaves. See, they don't talk about that. You will never hear this type of history at all. You don't. And it's happened. And see, that's another reason why the whole reparation thing that's why they that's that's how they look at it, because they look at it as well. If we if that's the case, then we're going to have to get these white people, because uh, if y'all saying y'all want reparations, we got to give these white people reparations that they their ancestors that was brought in here. We got to get them reparations. We got to get these people reparations. That's how they look at it. That's how they look at it. That's a nut. That's just a, a second part of why they don't want to give up reparations. But watch this being brought in and on various convicts and children etc and and they were being enslaved so that started us thinking this is an enormous story uh it was a story too big in fact to sell to television um there were so many aspects of it we didn't know how to compact it but we did think it was uh, an important and terrific book you see that so all they had thousands 
thousand and it, and you can go on ancestry right now and look this up it ain't like i'm just making this up you can actually go on ancestry and look and you will see where it actually says free white person it'll tell you on the census you could just you could just look it up now what do we go over in a black's law some of those people were dark-skinned people some of those people were dark-skinned europeans some of those people were but you got to you got to remember listen we can go get records to prove what this man is saying i can go get them so i know what he's saying is true this ain't and i if i have to put the mugs on screen i will show you what he's saying is true all right but we've been reclassified for a reason y'all we got reclassified all these different times for a reason. Because if we were African at the beginning, they would have just kept us African and we would have got reparations. It would have been that simple. Everybody knows it. Watch this. I'm going to show it to you. Watch. I mean, right? Let's just change the name as much as possible to throw you all off so you really don't know what's going on. Let's keep switching the identity to hide the people. Why don't we just keep renaming you? Are you Negro? Oh, no, 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 you're not Negro. No, 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 you're colored. No, 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 you're not colored. You're African American. And this is what they name you. The slavers name you this. Because I know a white guy who grew up in South Africa. And he now lives in America. He is an African American and more African American than most. <sighs> Do you see how African American is a misnomer? It's a misnomer. Don't check that box. You see that? He said, listen, what's her name? Charlize Theron, the actor. She's an African-American. Elon Musk is an African-American. And there's many other um, people that was born in Africa and raised in Africa. They are real Africans. That's why he said, and this dude, I know a white guy that's an African-American, and he's more African-American than most. It's true. Those are real African-Americans. There's no such thing as no African-American. It does not exist. It does not exist. I told y'all, we never had to be naturalized to this country. And think about this. Think about this, y'all. We never had to be naturalized to this country. And also, a lot of the things that you look up right now, the food, the music, the dance culture, why is it all so-called African-American culture? It all stemmed from us. And you don't see them doing none of this stuff in Africa. You do not see them doing this in Africa. Like I brought out about the gumbo. They ain't making that. That didn't come from no Africa. They try to say it. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. That started right here in Louisiana. All this cornbread started right here. Come on, man. We, we got it. You got to start paying. That's why I brought that video out to show y'all. All the stuff that we started right here in America is all American culture. You don't see that same culture in Africa. It's only here. You are the people, man. You are the people of the land, man. They know this. All. I'm telling you, this is factual to them. And they just what they do is they sitting back twirling their thumbs Letting us argue back and forth about all this stuff while they're in the back reading the books and they got all the history and they know what's going on. And they got all the people out here arguing over who is who and they know exactly what's going on. They looking at everything. And they got all these all this race stuff going on. These people, man, come on, man. Come on, let's stop it, man. Just look at look at the food that your grandmother used to cook. All that stuff is American culture. That did not come from Africa. That came from right here in America. Those crops that we talked about, those yams, all that stuff came from right here. That stuff didn't come from no Africa. Come on, man, stop it. If that's the case, why did Africa have to get all the crops from the Americas? 
right? We we quote this and we talk about this stuff all the time, but it's true. It's 640 crops, right? In Africa. 600 of them or 90% of those crops came from America. So why would they, how, how can we call that the motherland when they didn't even have no food? They had to get it from here. All American culture, Afro American culture. The Afro is American culture. They didn't come from Africa. Show me back in the, show me pictures. Show, go, go show me any history. You ain't even got to show me no pictures. I want to see history. Show me the history where Africans was ro uh, rocking big Afros. Show me that. That's all American culture. All the music came from so-called African-Americans, jazz. Then I, I brought out the clip when, uh, what's his name? Uh, Will Ferrell. He was in a car with Kevin Hart. When Kevin Hart got in the car, he said something to him about Jay-Z. And he said, jazz is the only Amer indigenous American art form. Jazz is an indigenous American art form. He didn't say black. He didn't say African-American. He said jazz is an indigenous American art form. Who created jazz? Come on, man. Come on, man. Put it. And you can even go look on the Mayan. I brought it out in the video. They playing a form of a trumpet and horns. Who started that? It's our culture. Who started the the um the pouring the lick up on the ground for your dead homies? Who started that? We did. Why was those Indians in Wisconsin doing the same thing? Way back before, way back in the 18 and 1700s, they was doing it. Because you the same people, man. I'm telling you, it's all there. It's all there for you. It's laid all out right there for you. All you got to do is pay attention to it. You do the same thing as your ancestors do. You still doing it. Still to this day. And you ain't even picked up and said, wow, you know what? My ancestors was doing that. Wow, they <laughs> that's an indigenous culture thing. Come on, man. So you had two groups of Indians here. You had the Indians in the Southeast, and then you had the Plains Indians. That's why we always stress we Southeast Indians. Majority of our people is Southeast Indians. You may be mixed with Plains. I don't know. But majority of our people are Southeast Indians. You're going to come from the East Coast. You're going to come from the California area. You're going to come mainly from down South. North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, Tennessee, Kentucky. That's where you're going to come from. All the South. It, it is what it is, man. Watch this. Watch this. Everybody know we got our race stripped from us. Watch this. Ignore. Just refuse to publish any facts of African history that don't go along with our racial theories. We need to create a religious and a scientific doctrine so that the African slavery won't appear that bad after all. What we need to do is flood the world with new African histories that contain our European perspectives only. Start renaming people and places. You see that? She says start renaming people and places. Start renaming it. Replace African names with Arabic and European names. This will disguise their true black identity. It's changed the criteria for defining race. For example, one drop of Negro blood in America makes you a Negro, no matter how light the skin. Yes, and when we're pointing ancient African history, reverse the standard. No matter how dark the skin, woolly the hair, or thick the lips, you don't have to be a Negro. You see that? And when he was saying that, he was referring to the all mix. The guy with the glasses, when he said, no matter how woolly the hair, thick the lips or, or the nose, you don't have to be a Negro. He talking about the all mix. Because that's what they did when they, when they start finding them on mix and they start saying, I'm going to do one. I'm going to do a video on that, too. When they start finding the on mix and start saying these people, Negroes, they like, nah, I don't, I don't believe it. I don't believe they Negroes. They start trying to make every excuse in the world for why these people were not Negroes. 
every excuse in the world. Well, I, I, I even heard one dude say they had a certain type of tools where they couldn't actually make the noses uh, skinnier and the lips smaller. So they used certain tools and they could only make the tools, they could only make the nose big like that and the lips big like that because of the certain tools that they were using. But yet, they can make eyelids and eyeballs and all of that. And they can make details in the braids on the back of the Omix. The Omix had braids going to the back. They literally had braids in their head. But they could do that. But they could, you know, they had to, the tools wasn't great enough for them to actually make the nose smaller. So they had to make it bigger to look more Negroid and the lips big to look more Negroid because the tools just would, it wouldn't work to make the lips smaller and, and the nose smaller. So they had to do what they could do. Yet we made the braids on the back very detailed with the braids, but we couldn't do, come on, man, stop playing with us. We, we not for the, we ain't trying to hear that. <laughs> we not trying to hear that, man. <laughs> <laughs> they make every excuse in the world, man. Watch this. Watch this. Watch what the watch what the lady gonna say at the end. Watch this. When black contribution to civilization is too obvious, let's find a way to attribute it to outside white influences. When all the ancient historians contradict your theory, we'll just discredit them. You see that? She said, whenever, when all the historians contradict. When you contradict what they're saying, they just going to discredit you. They're just going to say, nope, that's so-and-so, so-and-so. Nope, that's been debunked. Nope, that's pseudo. Nope, that's the... They're going to keep doing That's how they do every single time. Every single time, I'm telling you. Especially when you come... Like I brought out that picture, all right? When I brought that in my community about the wild natives. They made every excuse in the world why these people look the way they look. Oh, those, those, those people, uh, but they still African... Dude, the, it don't say nothing about Africa. I didn't say a word about Africa. I never said a word about Africa, and the card didn't. It said wild natives on the card. And that card was done in the early 1900s. It says wild natives, and these people on the card look like straight up so-called African Americans. And everybody came in the comments, well, they still Africans. Man, come, bro, they said they was indigenous. They didn't say they was African. See, y'all just can't believe it because a lot of them don't know their own history. That's all it is. You don't know your own history. And so when you start talking about this stuff, this what they this what they uh, uh, allude to. Oh, well, no, well, see, that's been debunked. And I mean, they still genetically, they still African. Well, genetically, what is the other people then? W what are they? Cause y'all don't bring that out. And then they say, well, slavery, slavery ended. So y'all just, since slavery ended, now nah, listen, let me tell you something. Slavery ended in the 1960s. That's when it ended. Okay. A lot of y'all may not know that, but slavery never ended in 1863. Like they claim. Cause people were still being enslaved. I'm going to show you a video. Watch. People were still being enslaved. Even in that time. Watch this. Watch. Since y'all been out of slavery, y'all, okay, well, when our people tried to, uh, when our people tried to, to, to build up their own communities, what happened? Let's be real. What happened when our people was in, was in Tulsa? When they had multi-million dollar communities, what happened? Y'all not, y'all not, y'all not enslaved no more. So y'all need to go do something for yourself and quit looking for a handout. Really? A handout? Okay. Okay. Slavery ended in 1860. Okay. Okay. Watch this. Well, they watch this. We're going to, we're going to see if it ended in the 1860s or we're going to see if it ended in somewhere else. Imagine you and your family living in this barn. Forced to live like animals and with animals. No heat, no electricity. None of the things we commonly take for granted. This is the case of one family held as slaves up until the 1960s. We found this barn at Grange Hall Road and MS Highway 568 
near Vicksburg, Mississippi, in July 2009. This is the true life story of former slave, May Louise Miller. They would bring my mother to the house. And when they bring my mother to the house, one of us would have to go with my mother, so the master said. And so this was the particular time that I had to go with my mom. So my mom. And when it came to me, I was sitting there crying because you know, I you know when you don't know what's going on, I was sitting up there crying in this. And so the lady said, they come coming to me. So the master's wife said to him and the other brothers or whoever they were. And she said, and they was sort of looking and she said, oh no, no honey, no, no. And she says, uh, she's not even a heifer yet. I didn't learn what that word was to over in the siblings. And she said, she's not even a heifer yet. She's just a yearly. You can't. But they gave my mouth me just like they did my mama. And there I was laying in that girl didn't know what to do. And his wife had to clean me up. But that never stopped. And uh, I remember telling my mom, if you go tell what happened here today. She said, if you go tell those, you know, in words, what happened here today, if they told, if she went and told anybody that what they had just done to her, they was going to come and execute everybody. And this is just, this is just one instance. This ain't just, this ain't, she ain't the only person this happened to. It was lots of families that was still suffering slavery in the 1960s. She, she's not the only one. Her name is May Louise Miller. Y'all can look her up on YouTube and you can find the whole thing. It's on YouTube. Just type in May Louise Miller and you will find it on YouTube. But she was not the only family. This stuff was still going on. And and now nowadays, they don't call people slaves anymore. They call you criminals. Slavery is still, it's, it's well and alive. It's just industrialized. That's it. That's all it is. It's industrialized. It's like when you when you get up and have to go to work for somebody, that's what you're doing. When you have to work for, I don't care what race you is. If you Asian, white, red, green, blue, I don't care what color you is. If you getting up and you going to work for somebody else, you are slaving for those people. You may be an indentured servant, but it's still a form of slavery. It's the same thing. It's just industrialized. That's it. And then they take people that commit crimes and these people in the prison system working for peanuts a day. And that's another, that's just a, a, a higher form of industrialized slavery. It's still going on. Still. So nobody, listen, nobody's set free. And until we all get free, everybody going to still be in slavery. That's just how it is. There's no one person above our community, period. I don't care who you are. I don't care how much money you got. I got money. I don't care how much money you got. I don't care how rich you is. I don't care how you dress, what kind of car you drive, what kind of house you live in. That don't mean nothing. Until we all get free, everybody's still in slavery. Cause one person being free and saying I got this and got that, what that mean? You still you? It's like it's like teasing somebody in their face if they starving. You got it, but everybody else still a certain way. So until we all get free from all of this stuff that's happened to us, everybody's still down. Period. And the only way it's gonna do it, we are gonna have to start helping. And I know again, we all heard this stuff all the time, but it's the truth, man. The only how to. 
only way to get free is to know your genealogy. And once you know where you come from, that's how you're going to get free. But that takes time. It takes time, man, because some of that information going to be inaccurate. I'm going to just tell you straight. You're going to go on there and you're going to see some of your ancestors. Some of them is going to say they Indian and they may be inaccurate. Some of them is going to say they African. They may be in Africa. I mean, inaccurate. Some are going to say they Creole. It's going to say they West Indian. It's going to be inaccurate information. Unless you actually, I um I was watching uh shot the AP. I was watching uh well I came in on the end of his live, and I was looking at the comments. I forgot the name of the live, but I was looking at some of the comments, and there was somebody in there that was talking about the genealogy, and she was correct. I think it was a sister. She she was correct. You you the 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 um the the um the the genealogy is not always going to be accurate. Unless you got actual records that you can match up to say, okay, I got this census record, I got this death certificate or birth certificate or whatever it is, and you can match it with the next ancestor. Because ultimately, doing your genealogy is you trying to find out, you trying to go as far as you can on who your who your ancestors are, as far as you can, right? So when you get back to certain uh, numbers, when you get back to your seventh and eighth and ninth great grandparent, there ain't no records. There's no record. There's no death certificates. Um, you lucky. Lu- you'll be lucky to get a mortality schedule. You know what I'm saying? You'll be lucky to get. <laughs> it's like it's no record to actually verify that. So when you get back to your seventh and eighth great grandparent saying they Indian, okay, that's great. But at the end of the day, how you verifying that? Because you can't do that with no record, unless you got a census record that they on. Unless they're on census records, I mean, you 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 do have that. But I'm saying like a death certificate or a birth certificate. You would either have to have a census record. You would have to have a um, maybe a book because Ancestry got a lot of books on there, too. So it's it's just it's just it's a hit or miss, man. It's like and you're going you're going to see things put into your tree that's going to be put there by other people that ain't got nothing to do with you. You're going to be like, man, wait a minute. How? Why is it saying my grand, grandmother is this and my grandpa is this? The age is going to be wrong. Race is going to be wrong sometimes. The name going to be wrong. That's how it work. And so that's how we're going to get free, y'all. That's it. And, and once we do that, once we do that, then we need to move over into the other levels of freedom. I tried to do that. With the with the um with the credit stuff when I was I'm, I'm not even gonna get into because if I do that I'm gonna have to go somewhere else if I say that I'm gonna have to tell y'all everything and I know a lot of y'all are probably gonna be disappointed if I tell y'all what happened with that is I ain't trying to you know what I'm saying I'm not trying to make nobody look bad but a lot of stuff went on when I was doing that gen, uh that uh credit stuff for free when I was I was helping people clean up their credit people who was was uh homeless basically they didn't have nowhere to live couldn't get no apartment couldn't get no house all because they credit was messed up and as soon as i came in i turned that all around and you had people hating even though i wasn't made i was doing it all for free you had people hating because they thought i was making money and i wasn't i was doing it all for free i still got the website up right now with all the information on it it's still there i put the i made i created a whole website and put it up so people can go to the website and fix their credit for free and because people thought I was making money, they start hating. This was before I was on YouTube. This when I was doing it on Facebook. People was getting 200 uh, credit score boosts, 300 points, 250, 190, 200. It's all on you uh, uh, Facebook still. So we need to listen, man. I'm I'm just trying to make y'all. I, I'm I'm really trying to make y'all see and oh and open y'all eyes, man. Because like I said, at the end of the day, um, we gonna let the troller. We are gonna let the trollers troll. We not gonna we not gonna we not gonna um kick nobody out, bro. I, I see her. You know what I'm saying? Let her let her troll. Let her do what she do. She can troll. She ain't got nothing else to do. You know what I'm saying? So we gonna let her troll. Let her do what she do. So. Listen, y'all, we got to get our people free. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, I don't care how nobody feel about 
anything I said tonight. We got to get our people free. You know what I'm saying? That's the bottom line. And, 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 and one thing I got to understand is, and that's for all these other races, we don't have to, um, we don't have to uh, 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 spread no hate. You know what I'm saying? This is the truth. This is not hate, man. Like the quit, and y'all need to quit trying to do that too. Quit trying to always, um, trying to put hate on something just because somebody telling the truth about it. it's just truth. This is not geared at no particular race, no particular race. This is just truth right now. You know what I'm saying? Like we we don't have to be at each other. We can sit and have conversations. I don't care if you white, red, green, Asian, brown, whatever it is. We can sit and have conversations about this stuff. Nobody has to be at each other's throat or be hateful and nothing like that. We can just sit and have adult conversations and be mature about it. Because more of these conversations going to need to be had for this country to heal. And that's just the bottom line. So make sure y'all thumbs up this video. Make sure y'all share this video on y'all page, y'all. If this is your first time watching, make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. We're trying to get the message out. And uh, I appreciate uh, everything y'all do, man. Every time y'all tune in, it's a blessing for y'all to just tune in. And, and, and I love y'all comments, even if y'all trolling. I love it. Do what y'all do. You know what I'm saying? But we're going we gonna to get through all of this stuff together, man, because we have to. You know what I'm saying? We, we got to get through this stuff together, man. And we got to be strong and we got to keep pushing forward. Because at the end of the day, the goal is to get our people on top. 